We're the largest snacking company in the world. That everyone in the business is a leader and have a role to play. So it just naturally made sense that, you know, my career would progress. And I wish someone had told me when I was in high school that that was an option. It's all about maintaining relationships and... We have such a wide array of academic backgrounds and the SEEK has a strong network of women here to help you. Today we are joined by Roseanne, who is the Learning and Development Coordinator for Only About Children. Thank you so much for joining us today. Hi, Rebecca. Thanks for having me. So just firstly, um, could you give everyone a bit of an idea on who Only About Children are? Of course. So we're Only About Children. We also go by Oak. And we're an early learning provider across Australia. So we have early learning services uh, in New South Wales, in Victoria and in Brisbane. And we provide care to children age uh, zero to five years of age. Great. Um, and then, so what's been your experience with Only About Children? Um, what sort of roles have you had and how have you started your journey with them? Yep. So I started with Oak in a campus role. So I worked as an educator. And from there, I was quite fortunate, Rebecca, I moved into a few different roles. So I moved into a preschool uh, room leader role and then a nursery manager role. And then my most recent role in the campus was an assistant director. So I was quite lucky every time I moved into a different role, I felt like I was able to extend on my experience and uh, gain new skills. And particularly, you know, relative to a leadership role. So working, for example, as a nursery manager, I was able to share my experience and skills and support our team. So current educators, new staff, and also that included trainees that were starting at our campus and had never worked in the industry before. So quite rewarding in that sense. And I also was quite lucky I worked across two Oak campuses. So I got to work with two amazing uh, teams of educators who were so unique and diverse. And although I had been in the industry for quite some time, by the time I moved to the second campus, I still found that every day I was learning, you know, off the other educators and it was great to collaborate with them and, you know, reach goals together. So, yeah. Amazing. So did you start out as a trainee? Correct. Yes, yeah, so I did my traineeship a very long time ago. Um, I always say to people who are looking at, you know, entering the industry, I always say a traineeship is the best way because you've got, you know, the theory component with the course, which is obviously so vital. But you also have that experience working with children on the floor every day and working within a team of qualified educators who can support and mentor you as well. And have you found only about children really supportive of your career journey? Because by the sounds of things, you know, you've obviously gone from a trainee to some amazing roles. Have they been really supportive of, um, of you doing that, um, you know, working your way up, basically? Absolutely. I've always felt very supported, particularly by the campus team and, you know, my campus director. And Opal also very supportive in terms of my, um, you know, progress with my studies. So I did, you know, start as a trainee, but while I was working with Oak, I did my early childhood teaching and primary degree and Oak were very supportive with that as well because as you can imagine with that, there comes things like, you know, practical um, components where I was teaching at school and things like that. So thinking about study and, you know, time to go and do that and flexible working arrangements, I felt supported throughout the whole journey, which I feel like I was really lucky to be able to say that. Yeah, totally. It's so important. Um, mm -hmm. Now, what sort of influenced you to go down this career path? Was it someone in particular or did you hear about it at high school yourself? What, what made you want to go into early childhood education? So I must say, Rebecca, I think when I reflect on my experience, uh, you know, it sounds funny, but in preschool, kindergarten, primary school, I had some amazing teachers and I feel they were such fantastic role models and I always felt so inspired by them and thinking, oh, I'd love to do this when I'm older. And then when I was in high school, we had to volunteer in our local community and I volunteered in, like, you know, before and after school care. And I love my experience working with the children and that sort of cemented the idea for me that this is what I wanted to do. And that's why I then did my traineeship because although I wanted to study, I really wanted to have that experience working with children and educators every day. And I was able to get that and achieve that from the traineeship. So. Yeah, it's so nice. And um, my daughter, I've got a three-year-old daughter and she's just started three-year-old kindy. And I was thinking back to my time at kindergarten and you actually do remember it. Like, I think your memory starts around then and so they are beautiful memories that I've got being at kindergarten as well so you know that zero to five years as well you hear so much about it especially at the moment um you know Kate Middleton she does a lot with promoting that space those first five years of the children's life is so important so to be part of that and be educating the children through that really critical time it must be such a great feeling 
It is, Rebecca. It's very rewarding. And like you say, we hear a lot about how important those first five years are. And that's sort of what encouraged or, you know, inspired me to continue and do my degree because I wanted to learn more and I wanted to understand how I could best support children within those early years. And thinking yeah. about the primary aspect of my degree and even about my role, you know, in early childhood service. But I thought, you know, during those first five years, we are supporting children to build a strong foundation. They can continue to develop and succeed in, you know, more formal academic context such as primary school. So I thought that, you know, my degree really helped with that. And I understood more and more about how important those first years are. All the way back to a nursery, you know, it is quite important and we can't underestimate what children learn in those years. So. Yeah. They know so much. They pick up everything, don't they? Um, so what about your current role? Can you sort of tell us what you do now as a learning and development coordinator and what do you sort of do on a day-to-day -day basis? Of course. So my current role, I work in our support office for Only About Children and I work in our learning and development team. So a big chunk of my role as a learning and development coordinator is to oversee our training sheet program here at Oak. So I coordinate that across all three states that we currently operate in. And I really do find my role to be so rewarding, Rebecca, because I am sort of there, part of that special journey for trainees who, you know, are starting in the industry and they're establishing a career in early childhood. And I get to sort of be part of that journey as they progress through their studies and then, you know, acquire that certificate at the end of that year. So that's, you know, in a nutshell what I do. But I also support with, for example, um, the transition into the uh, role at Oak. So before our trainees actually start at a campus, we have, you know, a really great training day in the office. And that's, I think, where we can invest a lot of time in making sure that the trainees feel supported and comfortable and confident before they set foot in the campus. So I find that really rewarding because I'm able to share, again, my experiences at a campus and, and share that with the trainees. And we have a lot of, you know, meaningful discussions. And it's just really nice to be able to share that with them. I guess wow. I have, you know, at the end of the day, I was a trainee and I have worked as an educator. So, yeah, it is. It's great. Yeah, you know the feeling of that excitement before you begin and, yeah, it would be fun. Right. <laughs> yeah. So what would you say gives you the most satisfaction in your role? I think, as I said, just being part of that journey with the trainees and helping them, you know, um, mentoring them from the beginning through their traineeship and also seeing them graduate and finish and get that certificate is really rewarding. Um, and I think also, you know, we've got a lot of trainees who started as a trainee but they've done their diploma and their early childhood teaching degree with Oak. So it's always nice to see them progress in their journey as well. Yeah, exactly. Now, why would you suggest to all the young students out there who may be listening, why would you suggest a traineeship for a secondary school student um, considering a career in early learning? Why, why would you say it's, it's the best way to go about it? Uh, I really feel a traineeship is quite valuable. So as I said before, the theory component is obviously so important, but it does go hand in hand with the practical experience of, working as a trainee educator on the floor. So I always say to candidates who are, you know, thinking about starting um, in the sector, I always say a traineeship, I feel, is the best way to go. If you think about starting in a, a campus or a service and you've got a team that you collaborate with and you can learn from. So I think that's always um, a benefit. You could be working with, you know, educators who have had 20 years experience in the industry or maybe just finish their traineeship and only have a few years experience. But I really feel being able to be mentored and guided by a team really supports their success in their role and like I said it does go hand in hand theory you know also able to you know implement what they're learning in their coursework um, in an early learning context and with children as well so it's great. oh that's the fun part is working with the kids <laughs> <laughs> um, and so what other pathways are available so we've obviously got the traineeship um, mm -hmm. what sort of age can you start that can you can you start that while you're still at high school or what what are the pathways um, for students? Mm -hmm. So, you know, once you do that traineeship, I do feel like it opens the door for so many opportunities, both in educational roles, but also your study. So a traineeship in Certificate 3 is really just a starting point. From there, you could move, you know, progress with your studies doing a diploma or your early childhood teaching degree and then your master's. But also thinking about educational roles, someone like myself who I started as a, you know, a trainee, but then I was able to move into a real leader role and a nursery manager role and assistant director role. So it's just really, it's a starting point. And um, we do have a few team members here at Oak who started as a trainee and like myself, you know, then became a campus director or joined our support office team. So I think it's a fantastic starting point. Um, and in regards to your question about the age, so we do have trainees who once they can, you know, finish school um, from 18 onwards that join our team here at Oak. So. Okay, great. 
And how long does a traineeship go for? So a certificate for a traineeship is generally one year time period. Great. Oh, that's amazing. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Roseanne. It was really awesome to get your insights on uh, on life um, working for only about children. It sounds like lots of fun. Well, thanks so much for having me, Rebecca. It's been a pleasure.